Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John. Skippy them cool. Hi, welcome. Hey, so we have a new update to Unify for you all to enjoy. We are going from Unify 1.9 to Unify 1.10. And there's a number of really cool things. I'm going to highlight five, maybe a few extras here and there as we go through, but there's five really big ones that are really, really cool. Um, Probably the coolest of them all is the ability to right click in any plugin window and say SER and load Serum without having to scroll down a list to X for records and finding it. You can now type in any plugin name in any window. If you're here and you want to say Fab Filter, there's all the Fab Filter plugins. I can use the arrows to scroll to the one I want. I can hit return. There it is. Boom. That easy to work with super fast. When you get to MIDI effects, you right click and we show both instruments and audio effects because MIDI effects, they, they get kind of dual assigned sometimes. Sometimes they show up in the instrument list because they have an, an internal engine inside of it. Other times they're just a MIDI effect and so it's an effect, which uh, it, to, to most everything is an audio effect. So sometimes you'll find audio effects and MIDI effects combined together. Uh, so that is a biggie. You just right click and load any plugin that Unify knows from going to the known plugin page and scanning your plugins. By the way, the most efficient way to use Unify is to scan all of your plugins, all of your audio units, all your VST, all of your VST3, and then use the remove redundant plugins. And then it will prioritize VST2 first to keep. And if there isn't a VST2 version, then it will keep the VST3 version because a lot of companies and developers don't have a license for VST2. And then if it's only for audio units and there's no VST versions, which is very rare, but it does exist sometimes. And will be that will be more a case in the future with what Apple's working on right now. But we'll talk about that later. That's that's not for this conversation. But the ability to have all of your plugins that you have on your computer known and have VST and VST3 all show up, but not be duplicated. So you don't see doubles of everything. I, that drives me crazy. Um, that's what the remove redundant. That's just a free tip in there. The other cool thing that we have done is we've gone from everything being green and blue and red. And the big thing is we now have color. So every layer can be assigned its own color. It works like this uh, over here on the bullets of each layer. If you click right here, there is a change layer color palette. And this is the palette for Unify. You can make your own color palette, make it a text file. There's information in our owner's manual that's online to read about this. I'll make a follow-up video talking about that and how to do it to explain how it works. There's no limit to how many colors you want. Furthermore, if you bought a library from somebody and they went crazy with color and you didn't like the color, you can go here to settings and right here where it says accessibility, ignore layer colors and patches. Just turn that on. And now, even though this is saved with colors, it ignores that because I'm using this preference to override that and just ignore it. So if you don't want to see the colors, you can turn that option off in settings or you can have it on, right? The other new thing that's added in this update that's really, really exciting is the Guru Ear. Uh, that's what I call it, at least. Um, let's do this. Let's open up Hive and let's go down here. Also on the macro knobs, by the way, if you right click even on the knob, that now is to call up the macro assignment target page. Um, no longer is it option. We decided to tie this all in so that right click opens up the most important thing. In fact, be aware that holding down option and clicking on the bullet now will initialize that knob. So you can now quickly go through and hold down option and click to reset knobs. It used to be a pain in the butt and you'd have to go over here and say, choose initializing. You have to do that over and over again. We now have a quick key for that. But if you want to open up the targets, you just right click on this and here they are. And here's what's beautiful. Let's play Hive. Right, let me put this right here so we can see what's going on. See over here, this little ear. Let's say I like this knob. Okay, well, if I was to do this the old fashioned way, I'd go down here to instrument to Hive and here's the parameters. And the second you see this, most of you guys' eyes just glaze over. My mind glaze over because there's just so much to it. Well, <laughs> don't worry. Click the guru ear, move that knob, and now it's assigned. And so, and the, the, the assignment settings, like if this is set to max, then it'd be the full range. I can also hear in real time. 
how loud do I want it to get? I want it to stop right there, and if I don't like the curve, I want a little bit more range in here, I can put it down to be a more exponential curve. Now I have a lot more range in this area before it gets up here. If you go like this the other way, now there's a lot of range here. Very little here. So you can change the curvature of every parameter. Let's say that I wanted to go to the effects and I also wanted to bump up the reverb, which is this knob here. Hit the guru ear and I now set this to max parameters. So when I just move this, boom, there it is. Now, it's opening up the reverb. Maybe I don't want to go to max, so just click here and say, nope. I want to stop right about there. One more example. Let's say the bass. I want to change the bass. Let's get back to right here. Maybe I want it to be really low when I first call it up with it being really dark, right? So hit the guru ear and move the gain. There it is. And I want it to be really low. Maybe stop, and I can even see the knob moving inside a hive when I'm changing this. I'm changing that knob as if I was grabbing that parameter right here inside a Unify. So I can define everything exactly how I want. I can hear it exactly how I want when I'm programming it. I'm a sound designer. It's what I've done for 30 years. So having this type of control is what it's all about. This makes it so it's really fun. And I didn't have to go any deep diving into anything. <laughs> That's really nice. In fact, there's an ear over here who went, oh no, I didn't want bass game. I wanted to be the high frequency gain. So now I've changed it to be high frequency gain. And if I decide, oh, I want both, just hit the guru ear over here to bass and do that. And now you got it back. Right? So guru ear inside of target parameters, there's no limit to how many parameters you can assign in a list to each knob. 32 knobs. You can listen to any plugin. In fact, if I wanted to, I could right click on this. Let's say I wanted to also at the same time, uh, let's say that I had, I was going to be showing you data verb in a minute. So here's this new reverb that's inside of Unify, right? Maybe I wanted to go over here to data verb. And I want to change the decay time. So just hit the guru ear. This is a totally different plugin. It's not Hive. But as soon as I move decay, boom, there it is. And instead, I'm going to make this max. I want to be really long when it's dark. So it's like. And then as it gets up brighter, I want it to get shorter. So, I mean, the, the ability to do this to any plugin on any layer assigned to one knob without having to worry about what layer it is. And, oh, I can only do these targets only to this knob because it's just for the auxiliary. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that. You can do any assignment to any plugin on any of the layers to the same knob. So you can just go crazy and do exactly what you want to do. So that's really fun. So I was going to show you we have a new reverb. So let's go over here to data verb. Um, this is data verb. It's a nice reverb to go along with the other 10 inside of Unify. Don't know if you know that or not. There's has pre filter, low pass filter, as well as post filter, low pass filter, or post reverb, low pass filter. And uh, let me show you this on drums. It sounds really nice on drums. If you go right. Oh, we got to go and sell this too. I love if you make it really dark and short. That's good vibe to it. And you can filter it ahead of time too. You know, so you can do some nice things with that. Just to give you an example, um, here's some of our, let's do this, let's hit mute here. Um, 
Other reverbs inside of Unify, Water Verb, which has this beautiful chorusing effect. If we were to do this on, uh, oh, let's turn on solo. Hear all that swirliness? It's just beautiful. It's my favorite reverbs. Um, This is nice, but it doesn't have that swirl. But it's really, really pleasant. Um, that goes along with, just for example, other reverbs we have, I want to point it out. Zen verb is actually two different reverbs. You have a low frequency and a mid-high frequency reverb. So you can do some cool things, like say we go to the drum groove really quick. Um, let's beat this. And let's call up Zen Verb, which is number three auxiliary. That's what these knobs are for, by the way. These, uh, we can have up to four auxiliaries. What's great with this is each one of these could be a different set of different reverbs and distortions, and one could be delay. You can even turn down the direct signal and just 100% go through an auxiliary bus if you want to like group a whole bunch of drums to be processed, or a bass that you want to be distorted or something like that. That's just the reverb by itself. Check this out. The EQ range. This is with the low e reverb, part two of e uh, reverb. But it has its own reverb time. So you make the low bass short while the high is. And here's your EQ for the high frequency. Here's your EQ for the low. You can scoop that out from the reverb or you can add it. So it's very, very, very flexible. Uh, the Dragonfly reverbs, there's four of these. There's a Dragonfly Hall, Room. Um, oh, what are the other ones? I can't even remember them off the top of my head. Let's go here and say Dragonfly. Here we go. There's ER, Plate, Room, and Hall. Those are free on our website. You can download these four as plugins that you can load inside of any DAW. And they're really, really nice. And so... Let's turn this down. Just this is more like just a standard hall. Uh, we set it up so that there's a preset window up here where you can choose also different halls and different, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, data verb added. Now there's 11 reverbs inside of Unify to play with, um, including one that's a convolution reverb. Also, new, we have a 10 stage phaser, which is beautiful. Shane surprised me with this one. I'm working on a library with my Krumar. Um, right here is the Krumar orchestrator, serial number 234. Um, and he's like, well, I've been working on this for a while, and I know you're working on this, the Krumar, and so I think you need a phaser. <laughs> and so he just pulled his, pulled out of his bag, hey, I got a 10-stage phaser. So check this out. Um, we put a preset window in here because I wanted presets and we'll be looking at adding this to other of our effects and changing the way it looks and refining it in the future and stuff like that. But this gives you access to 21 patches I made for this phaser because it can go some really cool places. Um, here, just, just this is the stages, right? So here's one stage. Very subtle. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Intense. Get really intense. Um, we had the feedback going all the way down to 99. So you make it ring out. The rate goes up to 10 hertz. Right? So all sorts of fun stuff to play with. Um, this update is free to everybody that owns Unify. We do have something different and special with this specific release. Shane has done 10 releases in the three years Unify has been out and has added all these new effects and all these new MIDI effects and past updates, just incredible things added. Those all take a huge amount of time to make. 
and all the upkeep for bugs and plugins that didn't work, and then they worked, and then some new OS or update came out and they didn't work. Um, the number of hours that man spends on Unify updating the code is just mind-boggling, really. And he has never earned a penny past the money you pay for the plugin itself for any of the updates. And so for this update, we have a separate special thank you Shane video that you can buy. And it's Shane going through and talking about the update, showing you the update with parameters and stuff like that. So what I really need is a quick way to duplicate this same link, which might have some curvature and so on to it. I want to duplicate it to all the layers, all the layers that there are. I just go here and I say duplicate. Well, I could say duplicate layer plus one. But another thing I can do here is I can say on the bullet, I can say duplicate links to all layers. Boom. Now I have it going to instrument one, plugin cutoff, instrument two, three, four. Okay. And now it's going to behave the way I want. appreciate so much what he has done and continues to do that we decided to do a video like this so that if you really appreciate this update and if you have the financial support available to be able to provide, there's an option for you. And so please take advantage of that if you can. Uh, updates available at our website. Links in the video description. Enjoy. Have fun. Oh, a couple other really cool things to check out. Guru Samplers LFO. <laughs> The rate now goes up to 100 hertz, so that is really, really fun for those of you that like to do very, very fast things with LFOs. Uh, on the knobs, another thing that's really wonderful is the duplicate links to all parameters. Okay, so enjoy. Thank you for your support. We'll see you in the next video, okay?